Okay, I think it's go time. <clears throat> go time. This is Sydney Guajardo representing the Trading Places. We are coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. We're doing the PM session. It's uh, Tuesday afternoon, May 5th, 6 o'clock. Uh, the U.S. session just closed a while ago. Um, let's see if we can look for some trades. All right, let me move this out of the way. We use a real account because we do live trading. Uh, let me show you something I was doing here. I'm calling this the Moab Alerts. So this looks like a bunch of gibberish because it, to me, it still is, even though I do Forex for a living here. But I have pressures here. It's, um, this is totally not done. But I have pressures here. And what this does is it allows me back up a little bit first we're going to do 28 trade pairs on the moab alerts it's there's going to be four pages it's called the moab alerts one moab alerts two and so on so if you want to receive alerts from um, sierra charts on when there's going to be changes in direction uh, i've put together a system when you have these open it will send you alerts to your email. And they look similar to this here. Let me see. Uh, let me see if we still have some. I think I may have deleted them all for today. I, I get them all the time. What the heck? Hey, where to go? Let me show your pips. Oh, here's one right here. Oh no, these are alerts to email chart book. No, when we get one, I'll show you. But um, anyway, so what it's designed to do is um, look. So there's an alert right here. I just haven't set up the the um, the email for it yet. Oh, you know why? Because I have this. I'll just look on here on, on the King Solomon. Anyway, so we have these arrows with like a bluish purple, whatever it is. It shows a downward position. And um, so every time one of these comes out, the third one, like you'll get an alert here. You don't want to you don't want to alert when um, you get one candle change. You want to do it with maybe three in a row. So the third one. So it's there's one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So just 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 take an example this is a pound us dollar let's just go with gold okay so let's say you would have gotten this signal right here and let's kind of let's kind of move it to where it's right here and it's live so would you take this trade it's very hard to tell it's very hard to tell but one way you can look at it is look at the direction that it's going. So, um, okay, so let's mark it up right there. So right here you see that, uh, you know, it's only fair to put that there, but we also have to move it over to five one at four o'clock. So you would have had a signal right there, and you would have had a signal right there, and you would have had a signal right there, okay? So it all looks like it's kind of deceiving here because um, this is on a 60-minute, and this is on a, on a uh, what's that, uh, eight-hour candle. So it definitely did move up in that direction. Even it, even it moved, it even moved up here, right there. Just it didn't go up very long. This one, it was a little more exaggerated because you're closer to the project. Okay, so if let's say you would have taken this trade right here, it would have given you a signal, 
and let's see what happens. Another signal comes out. Another signal comes out. Another, look at that. It just keeps going and going and going. And look, you can basically tell, even if you stay on the hour chart, you could basically tell right here that it's on the right side of the street. Let me go back to pointer. Okay. And if you look, we get the highlight here. This right here, it's on this side of the street and it's already curving up. So do you, do you want to take this long? Well, it's setting up to be. Now keep in mind that the Bollinger Band is in the downward direction. but you're taking a long signal. So I'd be a little leery of taking this one. Maybe this, you know what, let's, um, cause gold is kind of one of those trades that you don't want to take on a hunch because it's so dang um, slippery. Let me go back to normal pin. Maybe I should, maybe I should have just did with a regular Forex trade. Let me see here. Okay, let's, let's go with uh, Euro USD and let's do the same thing. Uh, reasonable drawings. Okay, so let's go back to there it is CR charts. You know what? Let's go back to that. I'm glad I got this email. A lot of stuff to go over before we start. Sierra chart alert, Euro USD. Color base alert condition formula da, 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 is true. Base time study. Okay. All right, so it says it was a real study. So let's say, let's, so let's pretend we didn't see what direction it's going in. Let's go with this one right here. Now, this one, this signal, came out right there. Let's put a line on it. That signal came right there. Now, what I see here is it's in the middle of the street because it just came off consolidation and it's turning. Is that enough information there to um, make a decision? It's not. Let's move forward. So what I would do is I would wait for another signal or just watch it, write it down and watch it. Look at that. And look at, look at the direction it's going here. Look at that. Now, would you take the trade there? When this signal comes out, the candle may have already finished. But now you see, even though a green candle came out, look at the direction that the Bollinger Band went in. It went in a downward direction. I'd probably stay in it and look at this. And it stopped. So let's say you would have taken the, the, the signal here. It's in a downward direction. Everything's beautiful. And then it goes into consolidation. It's still in the downward position. I mean, it could have gone up or down. But let's say you would have taken the trade right there. And you would have stayed in it to at least here. That's 64 pips. 64 pips. That's not bad. It stopped right there. Yeah, that's 64 pips. So just to get that signal, look how much money you would have made. So that doesn't mean that every time you get a signal, you take a trade. It just doesn't mean that. But it gives you an opportunity to get in. What if you would have taken this signal and this candle comes out, would you have freaked out? Well, who knows at the time? But you don't want to look at this part of the, uh, let me see. Have you heard of that saying, hindsight is always twenty twenty? Well, when you look into the future, it gives you the answers, and it's very easy to make a decision. But if you would have taken this signal here, it's easy to, for me and you, anybody to say, look, well, look how much money you would have made from here to here, or from here to here, or from here to here. You don't know that. 
So when you take this signal, there's other things that you have to do to back yourself up. You still have to see the direction of the trade. Is it in consolidation? The computer doesn't know any of that unless it's programmed to. All I did is program this to where when it, when there's three possible green arrows or three possible green candles in a row, send a signal to my student. At least it, this gives you the opportunity to have a life, go out and get some groceries or whatever, and when you get a signal, break open your laptop and look at it to see what's going on. And this will happen. Look at this. If you would have taken the signal here, it's still going up. The biggest thing is watch for trend. Watch for trend. So you you see this trend going up, right? And you get a, a, a down signal. Do you all of a sudden go down? Well, I mean, I've done that before. But you don't do that now. Because if you take a down signal during an up current, that's kind of like, you know, getting a five gallon uh, bucket of water and throwing it upwards on a roof. The, the water's gonna come back down, but is it easier for the water to go down if you're at the top of the roof and throw the water? Yes, yeah, going, going against the current is very, very difficult. And those same principles apply in Forex. So that's what I'm working on. So I'm constantly trying to make it better for my students and let me show now that I tell now that I've told you about this, let's go look at the Moab alerts. Okay. So you're gonna get a signal here. So when you get a signal, let's say you're in front of your computer and you get a signal. Bam. So you get the signal and you start looking. These time frames are all wrong. So you see a down here, a down here, and a down here. Oh by God. Euro USD is short. And I just took the Euro USD. Look at that. I'm already $42 in the, in the good. I took that um, right when training started. So that's just, I mean, that's awesome. I wasn't even looking at these. I took the trade based off another indicator. And the signal came out. This is a total coincidence. But look how powerful and how true to the system. If you're true to the system, it's going to happen. I remember the first time when I started Forex, I got my nose all bloody. I didn't. I wasn't coachable. I wasn't this. I could figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll just go to YouTube. And it didn't happen. <laughs> I started losing my every time. Uh, I, I could have easily done the strategy. Well, it looks like it's going long. Just take it short because every time I do something, it goes the opposite way. I didn't have any training. Well, now that I have training, look at this. Before I even pulled up the Moab, I, I took the Euro USD and I took it short because I saw something there. And then I'm over here looking at the Moab alerts. Boom. The signal's there. I could probably stay in this trade all night. So it's, it, this, our system's powerful. It really is. So just to let you know how powerful it is, let's look at uh, the King Solomon. And we had training this morning. So let's figure out um, how good I did on the, on the honor indicators. I, I, I may have made mistakes. There was a lot of volatility. Um, there was probably some trades that I probably shouldn't have done. It just looked like it. I didn't, um, I just was trying to make something happen. So let's see how, how good we did. Dollar 30. Did we say anything? No, we didn't, but I wouldn't take this trade overnight. It's in consolidation right now. And it, it took a dump right there at the very end. So let's go to Euro USD. We know that's going short. It's all the indicators right there saying that it's going short. Mm. Okay, U U.S. dollar versus the Japanese yen. Yeah, I didn't see anything then, and I really don't see anything now. Nothing there. Let's go to Euro yen. I mean, uh, the overall um, the overall trend on, on the trade is short, and it is going to downward position. And, you know, let's go to Euro Yen. Let's take this here on the four hour. Yeah, I'm going to take it short. Live trading, guys. Live trading. People don't do this on YouTube. Tr trust me. Aussie dollar, US dollar. You know what? Let's go back here and let's mark where we're at. 
Let's get away from um, creating bad habits. Let's figure out where we are, right? Right there. And we're gonna put some notes. I'm just gonna say short, that's it. PM session 0505. Whoops, put this on the wrong side. It's weird because I wake up early in the morning to do this and I'm sleepy and I'm drinking coffee. And um, <laughs> I tried to, you know, it's really, really hot. So I don't know if there's a little, I, I, I despise slurping coffee, but sometimes it's so hot it happens. I hope it doesn't go through the mic. <laughs> but if it does, it's, I apologize. It probably sounds funny on the air. But uh, it's, it's so weird. I'm getting old, a little bit older. I just had my birthday last week. I'm 49 years old. So I need coffee uh, during the morning session, the PM session. I'm trying to fight a nap. So <laughs> anyway, um, let's see how this goes. Uh, short. Um, we're going short. And it's this. Uh, I should put PM session 505. Okay, we're good. All right. So let's figure out. You know what? Jeez. I should have. I did it wrong. I apologize. Right there. Let's do this right. We're going to call it short. And it's the PM session. Actually, let's put the date first. I know this a million times. I still can't figure it out. Okay, let's go through another one. Let's go to Aussie dollar, US dollar. And I don't see anything here. Pound, dollar. Look at that. I call this long. Um, and I can tell when it's a, it's a personal hunch or if it's the indicators because I'll say when the 480 or the 240 indicator turn, take it short. This is one I was thinking I was going to go long. And it just kind of, I mean, it moved a little bit, but for eight hours for a you know, a currency pair to move that little didn't really do anything, but I, I was still wrong personally. So I'm going to delete that. All right. Sorry about that. Let's go to us dollar Swiss. When 480 turns 505 long. I mean, now we can tell what the indicator did. It, it went long, just like my indicator said through me. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go, I'll go that way. Uh, let's erase that. So I think in this point in time, I'm going to take this right there. And when the 480 turns, and we're going to call this long and it's the it's um it's the it's 505 p.m. session okay so let's see where we're at uh i wouldn't take that trade right now because it hasn't turned yet but let's see how these other trades are doing i'm still still the same it hasn't really started the volume is extremely low right now that's why this this will start kicking in um anyway all right, let's move right along. Get through these. Maybe we can scalp something today. Pound Swiss. I really don't see anything here. It looks like it wants to dance in the middle of the street. Long when 480 turns. I mean, it went long, but it didn't do much. So I'm proud of myself for looking at the indicator. It just still hasn't turned yet. So uh, I'm going to erase it. So I'm not going to call this trade. That it just it's just kind of sitting there in limbo, trying to figure out what everything else is going to do. Let's go to Aussie dollar JPY. I don't, I really don't see anything here either. CAD yen. Guys, for those of you who um, are trying to get into forex and really haven't made up your mind, and you're kind of shopping around on YouTube or you know, the internet and they have some free training like we do. Uh, I, I invite you to look at what they're doing. Uh, I, I guarantee uh, 10 minutes into it, 
they're going to be using such big words that you don't understand it because I, I barely do and I do this for a living. And so I've made this simple, very, very simple. And it's the same thing over and over again. That's why I try to be a little animated and, you know, say, you know, the rope is kissing the vessel and get out of the street and get squashed like grape, like Daniel's son. You know, I try to make it fun because I do advertise Forex uh, made easy, Forex made fun. Because even though the Forex uh, generates between five and seven trillion dollars a day, and even though Forex is the biggest industry, and even though Forex is all liquid cash, it can, with all the redundancy, it can get very very boring, very boring. Now, what will get you out of that boring, um, I don't know, I don't even know the word for it, get you out of that boring state is when you start getting to this level. And I'm not saying that I'm some type of dynamic um, Forex trader. I'm not. I'm just a regular old dude that figured it out. And I didn't even figure out Forex because you'll never figure out um, Forex because it has a mind of its own. But all I know is people control money and people have tendencies, so there's trends. I guarantee if, if I knocked you out of bed tomorrow morning you, you, or you woke up, you, you're the first place. You have a certain routine. Everybody has tendencies, and so do the people that control money. That's why I like trends so much. But what gets you out of that redundancy or feeling like it's boring is when you follow our indicators. And I'm going to show you something. This is... This account here is, a, is, a, is a, an account that I opened up just to test these indicators or this one in particular. Look at this. I, I opened it up Sunday, okay, May 1st or a Friday or whenever May 1st was. And uh, so May 1st was on a Friday, I guess. Whenever it was, um, I opened it up after hours. Or, or, right, or right during right when it was about to end, uh, maybe at the end of the day. And um, $66 negative, I did that. But how many other negatives are there? I mean, there, there's one right there for twenty three ninety. I don't know what happened there. So I, I would say out of the two that I missed, one, there's one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Thirty-one trades, and I've missed two. I don't know what that comes out to. No. I'm, I'm running at a 94%, uh, not closing ratio, but an accuracy. And this is on, and it's not that I'm, you know, I was going to say, I was going to say, compare myself to Superman because you're never going to see me and him in the same room together. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is we're all creatures of habit. And all, guys, all I'm looking at, let me tell you what I'm looking at. Let me tell you a little secret. And it's so easy and it's so cheap. You get these indicators for basically free. You pay $3.99 to get in and $99 a month. And I'm constantly throwing things at you. Like the Moab, we didn't have that two weeks ago. Um, the Come and Take It, we just had that two weeks ago. It's a work workshop, a workbook. The Rochelle was three weeks. I'm constantly upgrading this stuff. So all you got to do is when you're taking a trade, make sure everything matches. This cream color, cream color, and cream color. That's that. Those yeah, those have to match. The money rope has to be in the same the same uh, direction. Like there's no agreement here. It doesn't matter whether you're doing uh, swing trading, or intraday trading, or scalping, which is pretty much by the same. It's by the it's the same by the way. Make sure the line's going in the same direction. That's it. That's all you need. I, I can go through these deals if I didn't have to teach every one of these things. I could tell you within two seconds if it's a trade. No trade. No trade. There could be a trade there. Possible trade. No trade. Possible trade there.
No trade. No trade. Possible trade. No trade. No trade. Guys, it's 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 not that difficult. It's literally just training your eyes. And this is where we left off. Um, it's literally where you're training your eyes. So this one's a possible trade to go short. So it's, it's not that, you know, I'm some type of um, second coming of Einstein. It's all I did was use common sense and a little bit of money to make, a, to make an indicator to where everything agrees. That's all that it is. It all has to agree. And that's why I always refer to this stuff as family. When we were kids, you know, I'm, I'm always giving illustrations of, you know, not playing in the street. Or, you know, a few days ago, I started using the, uh, the analogy where Mr. Miyagi says, make up your mind or you're going to get squashed like grape. He was referring to a street. So be, either be on this side of the sidewalk or this side of the sidewalk. And if you can tell, if you're on this side of the sidewalk, there's only one way to go is down. Over here, it, there's only one way to go is up. So we know that the, the rope can only go in, in, well, it can go three directions. It can be sideways, which we don't want that, or it can go up or down. And when you look over here, right here, it's telling you this rope is going down, this rope is going down, and this one is about to turn. And I put it in the AM session. Look at this. It, this, that, this is all I look at. This is it short this is at six or eight o'clock in the morning i like this trade short when the 480 turns so my students know that the reason i say 480 a lot is because these have already turned this is turned this is turned the last one we're waiting for is the 480 and it's about to turn look at this i mean if i was emerald the shelf i'd be say, chef i'd be saying bam right now look at this let me show you i mean this is a lot. This is where the trade, this, is at, this, is, this happened at 8.15 this morning. Look at this. It's 41 pips. 41 freaking pips. There's people that would die for that if they got 41 pips a week. And I, I, we just did that. We just did it. We just called it. I dare anybody that, that hasn't signed up to become a student, go get your training at YouTube, and, or at least look. I invite you to go look and see if they do what we do, live trading. And then have a night, this, I, just, I just opened this up uh, Friday evening or Sunday, whenever May 1st was, I don't know when that was. All these are positives, look. And this is a demo account, so as soon as I got positive, I got out. I just wanted to test my indicator. I, I, I had to do this to get this figure. I had to figure out, I had to do two math equations because I don't know if, if I had to do two into 31 or 31 into two. I, I always get confused on that stuff. And this is the same guy that doesn't know how to do a closing or, or a, uh, an accuracy ratio, but he made an indicator. This is a, a demo account of $100,000, I have a live one, but I'm not gonna do a live, uh, a live account and make this, but look what I did. Just with these little trades, it's not even, it's still Tuesday, and I've made $3,200, $3,200. I, I haven't been trading long, but wh the, what I have grasped, I, I've, I've, I've made these indicators, I made it very simple. What you will find when you go to YouTube for training on Forex, you're going to find a, a bunch of people that are very knowledgeable. They're just using big words. And it's going to take you a very long time. I know that if you're working, you don't have this time. So I made it this way. But anyway, live trades, guys, live trades. So let me erase this. And... I think this is still going to go short. So I'm going to put it right here as short. And we'll see how good these indicators are. Not me, because all I'm doing is looking at my indicators that I made. So I'm going to put a note here. 
going short, when 480 turns. And it's May 5th p.m. session. It's right there. I, I don't know. I mean, anybody that's been doing any type of trading for a long time, you know, you have up, downs, up, downs, up, downs, up, sideways. How can you possibly tell me which way this is going to go? Well, I, I don't know. I don't have the answer. All I know is I have a bunch of people over here telling me that the Walmart is... Uh, to the right, a half a mile away. If 25 people tell me Walmart is half a mile down the road to the right, and it's on your right, you're probably going to be right. Do you think 25 people could be wrong? Could be. I don't know. All I know is I have a lot of agreement here. The more agreement you have, the better. So I've been working all day. For those of you just joining us, I'm really excited about this one. It's called the Moab Alerts. These alerts will give you alerts. <laughs> will give you, these signals will give you alerts when trades are changing trend. So if you got this alert right here, Swiss Yen, and you got an alert in your email that is going short, do we take it? Well, let's see. The 120 is short, the 240 is short, and the 480 is about to. I would get in the damn trade. I would get in the damn trade. So this is what we have. Let me show you something that doesn't have agreement. Well, I can't find any right now, but we'll see. We'll see on the King Solomon. I'm very excited about this one. This one should be ready by Friday, and I'll release this to all the students. Uh, okay. That's a, that's a game changer right there. Now you can be at work um, on top of a roof or behind a desk or in the kitchen somewhere, whatever your job is. You get an alert, you can go to your MT4 account on your laptop or whatever. If you like it, take the trade. That easy. All right, let's go to Euro Aussie dollar. Okay, so, okay, so look at this. It's short when the 40 turns, and that was this morning, and it turned, and it went back up. So we didn't have three candles in a row, but we did here, one, two, three, and we got an alert. Would you take that trade? I, I, it's hard to tell from here if, you, if this is all you were looking at. It's hard to tell. I probably wouldn't take it because the Bollinger Band hadn't turned up. I'd wait for the next candle. I still wouldn't take it. There you go. You're in consolidation. But look. So, but now that you see a big picture, we're looking at a one-hour candle. Now let's kind of back up a little bit. Let's look at the two-hour, the four-hour, and the eight-hour, I guess. I don't know. Or the 120, the two. 240 and the 480. This looks like it's going to go short. I was right here, or my indicator was right here. I'm not going to take any credit for that. And let's figure this out. Let's see where the money is. Money is right there. And I really, truly think, just by what King Solomon is telling me, that it's going to go short when the 480 turns. So that's what I'm going to do. This is so redundant. I, I feel that you guys get bored because I say the same things over and over again. But that's all 4X is. That's all it is. So short. But people, let me tell you something. 98% of Forex retail traders, 98% of them lose their money. Short. When 480 turns. So I've already looked at five or six today. Euro pound. I must have not liked this trade earlier during the day. I didn't call anything on it. But uh, this one, it looks like it, it, it has, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put a, let's go ahead and call it short. I'm not too crazy about this one. It's, it's not a very high volume trade, um, but it is what it is. If it goes short for one inch or a mile, it, it, you know, I, I want to call it like the indicator sees it. Short. I got to 
check something, guys. Hold on one second. Okay, sure. All right, let's go to the next one. And we'll do two more, and then we'll go to the uh, scalping indicator, see what's shaking over there. Okay, you know what? The vessel's kissing the rope. Um, all it takes is one for retracement, and I don't like it. So there's enough brain damage in the world to try to figure something out. Let's just go to the next one. New Zealand dollar versus the Japanese yen. And it's kissing the rope there. It's kissing it twice. No kissing, guys. No staying in the middle of the street. It's squashed like grape. All right, let's go to the next one. New Zealand dollar. This one kind of wants to go up. This one's going down. This one's going sideways. It's in the middle. I don't like it. U.S. dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This one's turned a little bit. This one kind of wants to turn. And this one looks like it... It's softening a little bit. I'm not going to... Let's just do one more. Aussie dollar versus the Canadian dollar. There's no agreement here. You have down, sideways, down, up. Way too much brain damage to figure this out, man. So, um, let's do a little bit of scalping. Rochelle. Start on top. See if there's any trades we can take. Okay, so I took a few trades today. Um, here's another reason, and this is live trading, guys. Here's one reason uh, why a lot of people do not want to take trades live on YouTube or however they record. Um, but I did it anyway. Uh, the XAU versus the dollar, that's gold, okay? And this, this guy right here, gold, will, I mean, it's like handling, handling a slippery fish and adding Dawn detergent soap to it. It just becomes extremely slippery. Okay, and then I took Euro USD on a cell and Euro JPY. Uh, these I'm going to have to stay in quite a bit because there's no volume right now, but it'll, it'll pick up. So, but let me show you what I was looking at. So, gold on a four hour candle is trending long that's why i took it and it'll it'll make money it just retraced but the u.s dollar consumes so much of your account you take big losses and you take big winners okay euro usd let's take a look why i did that one four hour candle i mean you can look at it right here and say that it's short so we took it short and i've been in it for a little bit i've made 46 bucks so it's definitely going on a downward trend. Now these two are like uh, customized Fibonacci's. This one here too, um, um, this here's a game changer, this, this indicator. It's, 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 uh, I designed it on the MT4 and I usually design my indicators on the MT4 because I'm colorblind and the colors are a little bit more robust on here. But um, this one here is gonna be a game changer. What it's gonna do is it's gonna enable us to make enough money to buy our own island. So just be prepared. And I don't know if there's any suggestions my students want to call this. Um, just kind of give you, you know, we have the Moab Alerts, King Solomon, come and take it. The other one is called the Rochelle. The other one is where we go one, we go all. So I'm kind of staying patriotic on these um, indicators. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'd like to name it. I'd like my students to name it. But we're already in the positive here. So that's, that's good. And that's live. Live action, man. Um, Oh, by the way, this is what it's going to look like. Isn't that kind of neat? It's, it's this indicator that I was telling everybody about consolidation. So I figured out a way to, to highlight consolidation, and we don't know what it's going to do. And God dang, it's working great. It is working great. Look at this. So when I, let me tell you what happened. When I first did this indicator, uh, I put it to test. And this company, <laughs> you know, You'll laugh at me here in a little bit when I tell you. This company is monitoring my, my trades, and they want me to trade a multi-million dollar account. 
out of the Cook Islands in Australia. And so I said, I'm going to try it with this indicator. Well, this is what the indicator looked like. And I took them and I took them all. I took all the trades. I wanted to blow up this account. Okay. Now these are the remnants of the trades that I didn't want to close. This, at this point this morning, I was losing $300,000. Now I'm on, I'm on a $5 million account and I've made $94,000 on it in, in two days. That's how awesome this indicator is. But I want to show you something. You see all these losers? Look at, where is that? Oh man. I wanted to show you all the winners, but there's some massive ones in there. But once this is ready, I've already figured it out. Look at the difference between this one here. I added a customized Bollinger Band to it. Now I can see the trend. It's all about the trend, guys. And this is what it looks like now. It just looks a little different. See that? I added a customized, um, pressurized Bollinger. Anytime there's pressure, it moves. So now it's telling you to go short. There's a red and a white. It's telling you to go short. Go short. Now, if it's telling you to go short and the Bollinger Band's this way, I kind of look at it a little bit different. So the this here together is just a game changer. After a while, everyone's going to know you're with Trading Places. And this is proprietary. Unless somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I'll give you $10 million to copyright this indicator, I, I may stop. But outside of that, um, everyone's going to be, everyone's going to want this. Trust me. So enough of that. Let's look at... Um, Let's look at US 30. All right, so this one looks like it wants to go short. Uh, the vessel is under the rope. It's kissing here and it's, it's not in the right spot here. And this is very typical of US 30 because it goes up and down so quickly. Euro USD, I know this one's gonna go short because I just took it, okay? Let's go to dollar yen. Very quickly, you can find out whether it's a trade or not. I want everybody to train their eyes on this vessel and this money rope. There is no trade here. I mean, there's not even kissing. These, these things are making out. So this is way off. So, but here's the deal. It's consolidating. It's cons I've never, I mean, I've seen this a couple of times, but this is very uh, different. Consolidation, you know, the line's going sideways right here. Money just not moving, but it's moving on this side of the street. So I think this thing is ready going to shoot up like a rocket. I don't know this. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see if King Solomon knows. USD yen. There it is right there. Yeah, there's nothing. There's, they can't tell. King Son. That's probably not even King Solomon. That's probably Elvis Presley. So anyway, he's faking Okay, let's go to the next one. Euro JPY. There's no agreement here. The vessel's up here. The vessel's down there. Doesn't know what it's going to do. Next trade. Aussie dollar, US dollar. Kissing, kissing. This one's in the right position. What tends to happen when the vessel gets kind of way up here, this will put a little heat. See, right there. It's starting to pressure, give some pressure to the 30-second indicator. And then, of course... You know, your parents telling you, well, so if your friend jumps off the roof, are you going to jump off too? Yes, I'm going to do it. He's my friend. Well, that's what happens over here. These guys start going up. This one starts going up too. Well, let's, let's, let's take a look at it. Aussie dollar, US dollar. Look at that. Golly, this indicator is saying it's going to go north. And so are these indicators. Unbelievable. Even the bottom, man, this is, I mean, this is too easy. You can literally, you can literally, um, it's like having a crystal ball or maybe a, a money printer at your desk. Since this is uh, training, I'm going to go ahead and close these here. Anyway, it, it, the, um, even though it says it's going north, which it is, there's not enough volume to push it up there. Aussie dollar versus the U.S. dollar is a pretty good, it's a pretty good money mover, but just not right now. Let's go to pound US dollar. The ropes are saying up, all three of them, the money ropes. Um, but look at this. 
the vessel is starting to come down on this side, trying to pressure the money to come down. Let's see if his little friends start to come over. Are you going to jump off the roof like your little friends? Yes. Yes. Why? I don't know. All right, let's look at pound U.S. dollar. Let's see what it says. Man, look at that. It's just beautiful. Downward trend. It wants to come down. There's red candles. I mean... This is just like monkey see, monkey do, man. Oh, but look at this. It's in consolidation. That's why it's not moving like this. I did this indicator and I overlooked the blue. God bless. Okay. Let's go to dollar Swiss. All three of them are going in the right, in the right direction down. But look at that. It's starting to pull it up a little bit. This one's going up. This one's going up. It's it's going in a it's go it's going in a in a in a in a um, uh, it's going north. It's going in an uptrend. Let's look at it over here. U.S. dollar Swiss. Look at that. God, it's beautiful, man. But <clears throat> this is the part where you have to understand the first trend. These are trend lines. The first line says to go down. There hasn't been any indicator to go up. So to me, this green candle is going to hit this support line or this resistance line, and it's going to shoot down. It's kind of hard to, to you know understand that because there's so many candles going north. But this is a retracement line. When it hits this, it's going to come down. And if you look at it... Um, let me see if I can move this out of the way here. Hold on one second. I'm trying to show you something. Okay. So if you were to put an imaginary line here, let's not do imaginary line. Let's put this line here. If you were to put a line right around here, look how many times these candles hit they hit and they go back up. This one kind of went through, but this one kind of went through and it went back up. And this is called a support or resistance line. If it's on this side, if it's south of the line and it's going up, it's a, it's a resistance line. If it's north of here and going down, this line is, is a support line. This is support or resistance. This is support and resistance. So to see if this is going to be a true trend, we'll have to wait until this candle breaks here. If it breaks here or touches it and bounces, it's probably gonna come back down here and stay true to this trend. If not, it'll bust through and it'll keep on going and my little friends here will turn green. It'll come on this side, it'll turn green saying there's a new trend. This thing is remarkable, remarkable. It's unbelievable, game changer. With a capital A, all right. I don't even know how to spell. Okay, pound Swiss. The line and the rope, the vessels are all making out. Not a deal. Aussie dollar, yen. Smooching like crazy. People think COVID's over and not looking at the movies. Cad yen. Okay, so this one, there's a signal right here that it's going north. These are going north, but somehow there's pressure that the vessels are underneath the rope. I, I don't know why it behaves this way when I have three ropes saying it's going north, but the vessel's over here. Why is that? I don't know. All I do know is when you take a look at this, and this is something I just realized, it's in a downward trend. So there's a lot of pressure to go down, right? Kind of makes sense. So this is one of those situations where even though the ropes are going long, you're trading against the trend. Don't just don't do that. Don't trade against the trend. It's kind of like throwing a water, a bucket of water up a roof and expect it to go to the other side. It isn't going to happen. The water's going to come back down. Okay. This is why I did the Moab alerts. So, when this signal came out, this blue or purple, I'm, I can't even see, I'm colorblind. But when this color, when this signal come, came out and it says short, 
but all these were going the other way. Do you take the trade? Negative. Only take a trade when it's with the trend. That's all there is to it. That's, that's a golden rule. Now, I take trades all the time against the trend, but, and you'll get there. You'll, you'll get there as an advanced trader, especially with this system. You'll be able to do those things when it's in consolidation, but the candles are real long. You can make a bunch of money in consolidation, but it's very rare that you get consolidation. The candles move 10, 15 pips at a time. Man, you can sit there on one trade and take 20 trades in one day and pay off your mortgage. Seriously. But you're not there yet. So let's look at uh, another. No, let's look at the Rochelle. Swiss yen. It's underneath, kind of underneath, underneath, just for kicks. Let's take a look at it. Swiss yen. Downward trend for sure. I don't know what happened here. There must have been a lot of money into the market because this one here shows it was going to change to an uptrend. Look at that. The, I did this Bollinger Band based on pressures. And if you look at this right here, let me circle it or put an arrow next to it. Man, this thing's remarkable. It just tells you so much information right there. Boom. Some, some money probably entered in the market a large amount or a, a large amount um, entered the market. Whatever it did, it made this Bollinger Band just move just like that. And then my signal based on an algorithm said to go north. And right away it just came south. So this is a long enough trend right here to say that it's gonna go south. Let's, let's just verify. The MT4 is based on um, live data from the central banking system. That's how accurate MT4 is. Sierra is maybe a thousandth of a millisecond behind it. So, but let's, let's see what trend it is. Look at this. These are the things that, that, that are amazing to me. That we were able to put something together based on pressures, the little bit that I know, and it's all going to work out. This trade is what I'm talking about. Okay, Euro Aussie. Oh, this is, um, let's look at it short. Am I in that trade now? No, I'm going to take the trade. Euro Aussie dollar. Kissing, kissing. This one's up. There's a little bit of pressure. There may be a, a direction here, a change in direction. Who knows? This one looks like it's going up. Let's look at it. Euro Aussie dollar. This one's a little scary. Um, I don't know if what scares me about it is this signal here is saying to go long. Now, is it going to come down here and bounce and keep going north? There's a green candle right there. The Bollinger Band, there's got to be agreement. It doesn't matter whether you're trading with an Abacus, MT4, or Sierra Charts. There's got to be agreement. And even though this little candle here is just a smidge, something happened in the market to, to, to it's not big enough to, to show up on the Bollinger Band, but it's enough for me to go to the next trade. Euro Pound, not my favorite trade, not enough volume, but it is going north for now, but it looks like it wants to turn a little bit. Hmm. Let's go to do it real quick. It's in consolidation, is it? Hmm. I don't know. This one's kind of tricky. Hmm. Let me write that one down. Go to pound yen. Look at this one, pound yen. Let's take a look at it. Looks like it wants to go down. It's going down for sure. 
I'm going to take it. Nothing special, man. Let's take two more trades. This one looks like it's going to go down. So go over here. <laughs> the the reason let me tell you there's there's no indicator in the world that's going to determine volume there there is but not really uh, the reason why um, the reason I put the Bollinger bands with sensitivity is because do you see the 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 distance between here and here it looks like maybe two inches or whatever. Over here, it's it's smaller. This the the distance on the Bollinger bands. I designed these to figure out as close as I can to to um, volume. Well, the U.S. session the U.S. session just closed, and I don't know what time Tokyo opens up or New Zealand, but they're not open now. So um, this is why you get all these mixed signals. This is why people don't trade on Sundays and sometimes the first part of Monday. I, I trade all the time. So this, even though we're getting some short signals here, I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm going to leave this one alone. One more and we'll wrap it up. Uh, New Zealand dollar versus the, the, the United States dollar. This one looks like it's going short. Let's take a look at this over here. New Zealand dollar. Kind of the same thing. You got too many signals all in together here. It's coming out of consolidation. Let's just um, close it for now. Okay, guys. Um, I'm not. Um, I'm not smart by any means. I do work hard, but I have made forex very simple. Uh, King Solomon is probably one of the best indicators I've seen that I've made. I, you know, I made it. It's 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 only available to my students. And I'm keep adding to it the signals, Bollinger Band. They're sensitive. It shows volume. Shows everything. Everything needs to be agreement. Uh, when I when I'm when I started to work on the the Moab alerts, the this one here, this this new one, we're not going to call it the Moab. I just named it that for temporary purpose. But the proof is right here. The, these will end up being positive. But look at this. Ninety four percent. 94%. That's not bad. That's basically saying if, if someone told you that you're going to do 94% at the crap tables, uh, would you go to Vegas? Hell yeah, I'd go right now. Stop training in a heartbeat. But anyway, um, this is what we had to look forward to, and things are only going to get better. Right now, it's a little difficult. These indicators work 10 times better uh, when, there's no vol when it's just a normal messed up. Right now, it's really messed up because we have, uh, you know, the corona. Um, but when things get back to normal, which is just a, a not, not normal, but there's no such thing as normal. But before all this, when there was just regular stuff going on, Forex was, was a, extremely easy. And to me, it was with these indicators. You don't have all this mess right here. This, this normally doesn't happen where money doesn't know where to go. You'll see, bit, you'll see stuff like this up here. Like it's going to go short, so just take it short. But people still have a hard time figuring it out because I've made these indicators so easy. There's nothing like it in the market. It's unbelievable. But anyway, uh, from Trading Places, this is Sydney Guajardo. Uh, oh, before I, before I uh, if there's any international students that are watching um, on YouTube or whatever, uh, if you want to become a student, it's $3.99 to start. It's $99 a month, and you get these awesome indicators, and we're, we're continuously um, building them. Um, this indicator here, with the amount of money we spent and the time, there may be a surcharge if you want to have access to that, but it won't be much. Trust me. I know, I know the, 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 um, how much effort it takes just to make a dollar. Trust me, I know. Um, and, um, and what you get with this, with this package is training every single day just like this, um, talking like we're around a campfire versus being talked at. But um, we get that. We get a, uh, the VIP channel, which is on Telegram. 
um, and we give out trades during the day. I haven't done that here lately because I've been busy doing the indicators, but usually I'll give out five or six trades or, or some news that I hear that may affect currencies. Um, you get our proprietary uh, indicators on Sierra charts, and the $99 does cover uh, the, the payment on the Sierra charts as well. Um, we just we're, we're kind of just starting the Sierra the Sierra charts on the on the payment, so uh, it's not seamless just yet, but it will be here in a few weeks. Um, what else do you get? Uh, you get a YouTube channel, or you get access to the YouTube channel. That's that's public. If you wanted to go check out some training, or or you want to refer somebody, and also too, we added the the feature if you wanted to, like a friends or family type of thing. If you see somebody and you're you should be making money if you're paying attention. If you're doing what we're telling you, uh, tell somebody, and we'll, we'll pay you for them signing up. But um, outside of that, it was a pleasure uh, showing you how to do Forex today. Uh, we'll be on bright and early tomorrow at 8 a.m. with you hearing me slurp all my coffee. <laughs> so with that, hey, guys, just remember, uh, we were put on this planet to help other people that uh, can't help themselves. So with that, we bid you farewell, man. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.